Whoopi starts screaming that she doesn't want to pay for it. Well, too bad by Frank Lee for RWN official. Unhinged, Whoopi Goldberg stared at the camera. Audience uh, pointed her finger and told everyone listening exactly how she felt about President Trump and one of his biggest tasks, uh, big in terms of size and task, in the fact that it's something he's working on but has not yet accomplished. We're talking about the border wall that would, if approved and funded, be erected between key points of the border between America and Mexico. Whoopi became slightly agitated, it seemed, and she went off during an episode of The View and looked us all in the eye, sort of. Whoopi's exact men uh, message, I don't want to pay for it. Let's take a quick listen. To the hacks. You know who says he, he's going to shut down the damn government if his border security bill that includes funding for his wall is not approved by September 30th? But Paul Ryan, but Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell are like, yeah, okay. What were we talking about before? No one is paying attention to this. I mean, what is this? It's a distraction, distraction, distraction from the fact that Mueller's getting close. That's Man. why it's on trial today. Yep. Keep dreaming. Well, it, there, it's universally unpopular when people shut down the government yeah. on either side of the party. When it happened in 2013, when Ted Cruz did it under Obamacare, it was a horrific disaster. When Democrats did it for it's, DACA, which, by the way, terrible. still didn't pass in 2018. Uh, people, there are real-life ramifications. Yeah. You can't go to state parks. Government workers yeah. aren't paid. Aren't paid. People in the military aren't paid. When we have a fight at work, all of us have to show up the next day and still continue going. When something bad happens, there should not be another standard for people no. working in government. And you no. know what, man? You have to figure this one out. You're the one who said they're going to pay for it. Yeah. They're going to pay for it. You said everybody else was going to pay for it. Personally, I don't want to pay for it. I don't know about how you feel, but mm -hmm. I don't want to pay because for it. The question is, why does the base get so excited about this particular thing? The border wall? Yeah, the border wall. He uses it, as they call he red does. meat, to his base. He does. Why is, that, why why is it so Why are they excited about there's... the 700 children that still have not been reunited with they their parents? I don't know. The immigration program. I think not. they should be more concerned about that. <laughs> Really? It's on television. I saw him this week, the former ice guy. This is the law. We are following orders. What is that? This is the law. And that's why. But in, in 2013, 77% of Americans found it unpopular and, and dis disapproved of how it was done. No, shutting down the government. Oh. It's, a, it's a bad tactic all the way around for everyone on both sides. So he would need support to do that. He would need yes. people and. and so it's not like he can just decide to do it because right. they have so much that's backed up right now that we're not seeing movement yeah. on. Yeah, well, uh, the good thing is that no uh, one would have to pay for it if uh, people followed the law. There is a legal way to enter a country where people don't have to sneak in. George Bush once uh, once put it uh, put that out there as a reminder, but. Uh, not everyone follows the law, and that's just how the world is. Whoopi stated that was her feeling on the wall. Yeah, we saw, um, yeah, what does uh, she mean exactly? Does she mean she doesn't want to pay for it with her taxes? Are we going to pay for it with taxes? Is Mexico going to pay for it? Is the budget going to pay for it? No one is truly sure. But if it did come out of American taxes somehow, then it would likely be uh, such a small amount that it didn't hurt anyone in the pocket. Of course, that is everyone in America is paying taxes. Are illegal immigrants paying taxes? You, you think that a lot of them are? No. And who's paying for the welfare for them? <laughs> the taxpayer. When it comes to taxes, we need to be more worried about our local politicians and the ridiculous taxes they impose on our individual cities. That I agree with. When it comes to the uh, border wall, then people need to understand that having closed borders with the ability to enter legally is perhaps the best option when it comes to border security. Many previous presidents and politicians have stated their interest in protecting the American border. Now we have a president who wants to erect a wall to actually protect the border and people are losing their minds. The border wall will not stop every illegal immigrant from entering. 
For example, there they are likely uh, plenty of tunnels that have existed for quite a while. However, uh, are they deep enough to sustain the construction that might occur above them? That is unknown. One aspect of the border wall that uh, some people seem to like is that it stops people from walking right into the country while it may not prevent every illegal entry because uh, people sneak in using clever ways, but it should drastically reduce the number of people getting into America or sneaking into uh, Mexico. Uh, one thing to keep an eye on is this. If the border wall is ever built, uh, then will the number of crimes committed by illegal immigrants be reduced over time? If yes, then the border wall is worth having because it protects safety uh, by preventing dangerous people to enter a country uh, and cause harm. A border wall will not cause people who are already in America to leave, but it could be a method of reducing the amount of violent illegal immigrants from finding safe passage into a country illegally. If that stops people uh, from being hurt, then it is worth it. If a border wall is constructed even without Whoopi Goldberg's help, then it's only a matter of time until analysts can examine the study, the effect it has had on America and Mexico. And uh, here is a, here are a few uh, former presidents talking about immigration. We'll take a quick listen. All Americans, not only in the states most heavily affected, but in every place in this country are rightly disturbed by the large numbers of illegal aliens entering our country. The jobs they hold might otherwise be held by citizens or legal immigrants. Huh. The public service they use impose burdens on our taxpayers. Uh -huh. That's why our administration has moved aggressively to secure our borders more by hiring a record number of new border guards, by deporting twice as many criminal aliens as ever before, by cracking down on illegal hiring, by barring welfare benefits to illegal aliens. In the budget I will present to you, we will try to do more to speed the deportation of illegal aliens who are arrested for crimes, to better identify illegal aliens in the workplace as recommended by the commission headed by former Congresswoman Barbara Jordan. And President Obama calls for immigration reform. That other idiot here. At the White House, President Obama served as your Commander-in-Chief. He used the occasion to call on Congress to pass immigration reform to deal with an estimated 11 million illegal immigrants in the country. Indeed, our failure to act responsibly at the federal level will only open the door to irresponsibility by others. And there you have Obama and Bush here around here say that in this sector particularly illegal aliens are pouring across the border right. and uh, they don't believe that, that 6,000 more guard troops is going to do much about it well we'll see but it's not just people that it's like the you know it's like it's like the cat that ate the canary somehow and you know where i'm going with that one we're bringing down here if you notice there's going to be there's one strand of fence and there's going to be another uh, fence line all the way up and down here. We got lights. We got cameras. Infrared. Yeah. Well, they're cracking up. President Bush comments on immigration. We'll take a little bit. Let's go. The system is broken because there are people who are exploiting human beings for material gain. That's all you need to know. And this. Yes, my name is David Grossberg, and I'd like to know, do you think the children of illegal aliens should be allowed to attend Texas public schools free, or do you think that their parents should pay for their education? Who are you addressing that to? I think you're first in this. Uh, he was looking right at you. <laughs> I said he was. <laughs> Look, I'd like to see something done about the illegal alien problem that would be so sensitive and so understanding about labor needs and human needs that that problem wouldn't come up. But today, if those people are here, uh, I would reluctantly say I think they would they would get whatever it is that they're you know what the society is giving to their neighbors. But it has the problem has to be solved. The problem has to be solved because with as we have kind of made illegal some kinds of labor that I'd like to see legal, we're doing two things. We're creating a whole society of 
really honorable, decent, family-loving people that are in violation of the law, and secondly, we're exacerbating relations with Mexico. The, cha the, the answer to your question is much more fundamental than whether they attend Houston schools, it seems to me. I don't want to see a whole, if they're living here, I don't want to see a whole, I think it's six and eight-year-old kids being made, you know, one totally uneducated and made to feel that they're living with outside the law. Let's address ourselves to the fundamentals. These are good people, strong people. Part of my family is a Mexican. Can I, can I add to that? I think the time has come that the United States and our neighbors, particularly our neighbor to the South, should have a better understanding and a better relationship than we've ever had. And I think that we haven't been sensitive enough to our size and our power. They have a problem of 40 to 50 percent unemployment. Now, this cannot continue without the possibility arising with regard to that other country that we talked about, of Cuba and what it is stirring up, of the possibility of trouble below the border and we could have a very hostile and strange neighbor on our border. Rather than making them or talking about putting up a fence, why don't we work out some recognition of our mutual problems, make it possible for them to come here legally with a work permit, and then while they're working and earning here, they pay taxes here. And when they go on to go back, they can go back and they can cross and open the border both ways by understanding their problems. This is the only safety valve right now they have with that unemployment that probably keeps the lid from blowing off down there. And Well, I sort of agree with, uh, with uh, some of the comments, but, uh, you know, you're... you're with the George Bush and Ronald Reagan, there's a big difference in, in today's society as to what's going in, uh, on, excuse me. Uh, the uh, inflow is great and they're all looking for a handout basically. Not all of them, you can't say all, but uh, most, uh, and I think that has to end uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.